A very good day to all of you. Welcome to this panel discussion on collaborative planning system of lean construction management. We have a great panel today. I am Professor N. Raghavan, Professor of Practice from the Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Madras. We have Dr. Koshi Varghis, Professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, Building Technology and Construction Management Division, IIT Madras, and one of the earliest teachers of lean construction, also a lean coach in project sites. And we have Mr. Kalyan Vaijanathan, erstwhile CEO and founder, Nadi Information Technologies, an IIT Madras incubated company. That flagship product, NPulse, has been very useful in project sites for project controls. The company has been recently acquired by Bentley Systems. Then online we have Mr. Mohan Babu, a senior project manager from URC Construction, a long-term practitioner of lean construction in project sites. Yeah, thank you for that introduction, Professor Raghavan. And uh, from our side, we are privileged that Professor Raghavan, who is a professor of practice at IIT Madras, is, is moderating this panel discussion. As a professor of practice, Professor Raghavan actually bridges both academic and industry practices. So he has several years of experience with LNT and other construction companies, has been from design, construction to business development, and today probably the best person who can moderate this session. Over to you, Professor Raghavan. Thank you, Dr. Koshi Vagyas. So you have been listening to the various earlier sessions where we talked about the various practices and lean uh, construction management. The collaborative planning system is a very, very key tool in the stable of lean. It is actually a takeoff from the last planner system developed by the Lean Construction Institute of US by Dr. Glenn Ballard and Mr. Greg Howell. For the Indian conditions, you know, we have adapted the same thing to become collaborative planning system which has been in work for the last uh, decade or so. To start with, Dr. Koshi Vargis, you have been teaching, you know, lean construction management for quite some time and also collaborative planning system. How do you find, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the connection between teaching and actual practice at the site? Because you have also been a coach at the site. Right. So, so there are two, I mean, I'll take your question in two parts. One is when we teach lean as a part of the curriculum, for us, it's a part of a postgraduate course. So most of our students come in with a little bit of construction experience. And when we teach something like a collaborative planning system, first and foremost, it's it's a good, the, the whole system has some kind of a structure. So for teaching purposes, it is enough. It, there is an alignment to how you can teach it in a classroom. Now, one of the challenges of teaching CPS is that it also has to go hand in hand with practice. Because otherwise, it's just theory on the board and that doesn't, make, uh, you know, it doesn't have too much of engagement with the students because calculating PPC or, you know, looking at a look ahead plan on paper is different from when you are on site. So we also do use simulations in class to be able to get some kind of site kind of feel to the whole process. Now, when you actually translate this to site and you take it to site and you try to apply the same theories, there are a lot of variations. And I think a team that's taking this, the theory into site implementation has to be ready to be able to adapt it, to be able to learn from the uniqueness of the site, be able to apply the principles and not just lose hope the first time something doesn't work out for them. So this is, I think I will stop with that for now. There are several elements, I think, which we will take up during the discussion. Thank you. Mr. Kalyan Vajanathan, you've been a coach for Lean at, uh, you know, various project sites. How do you find, you know, the coaching given by you and the actual practice of the site? Um, so, see, uh, I, I guess uh, we've done we've done lean consulting uh, engagements at you know variety of sites, whether it's a power plant, commercial real estate, fit out projects, uh, infrastructure projects, and typically the way we start it is by you know giving them an introduction to lean, and and our favorite thing is we used to show them like what Professor Koshi said, uh, uh, sort of a hand simulation way of play by playing this game, what we call as a parade of trade game, right? Uh, some, uh, but but our own experience then after that, you know, half a day session to actually practicing it on the ground is that uh, it takes a few months for people to realize. I've had one field engineer who came up to me at a commercial real estate site uh, where we did LPS, coming back to me almost six months later, seven months later and saying, 
now i understand the true value of last planner and the parade of trade and sometimes that the the my ability to you know either not mobilize people or 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 cause uh, you know not 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 keep up my commitments actually has an impact on somebody else right as much as it had as impact the fact that it is actually a parade of trades and the fact that you're all sort of interconnecting each other and that 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 learning that 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 sort of bulb goes off only when you practice on the ground uh, uh, sometime later and, and again as professor koshi rightly said you have to have a few failures you cannot expect success on the first run but you just should not give up hope i'll i'll stop there i'll thank you mr mohan babu you've been having some coaching you know from uh, all of us from time to time how do you find the you know the teaching and the coaching and the actual <laughs> practice of the site thanks to join this meeting uh, i know i have coached by iit madras uh, 2014 and i am practicing the uh, lean at site level uh, still 2021 in 7 uh, uh, years so in the 7 years i have implemented this lps is the best tool to the site so more than 18 sites now in our organization more than 18 sites and i am the uh, lean uh, mentor to uh, take away for this uh, site level so the first thing would be uh, you have to be in the lean champion we have to identify the lean champion and the lean champion of the each site is the uh, mentor to uh, uh, go further to the penetrate to the all the engineers and project managers so now uh, what in this 7 years what uh, i think that it's uh, more useful in the terms of productivity then coordination between the teams and the collaboration between the teams and the management side also on site level the stress is reduced for the project manager is keep on going uh, fire fighting between these three area and lot of project managers came back to me and told me that yes mohan this is very useful my stress is totally reduced now i am focusing about the particular activity like constraint log now the people are talking about the lean language right now that's a very one of my outcome see people are talking about the ppc lps constraint log this end of the root cause if anything have gone in previous people are saying that this is the reason this is the reason now the people are using the weight what is the root cause that terminology now the seven years my conception indices teams has totally changed so this is what i experience it's very useful in way forward will be there let us discuss this panels thanks for this how long has the transition been from the time you know people are coached till the time you know you're able to tell you get some good benefits transition between uh, the crew is uh, minimum 2 years sir because when i when i am giving my 18 sites i am saying that when i am starting the crew size will be more than uh, 240 engineers along with the stores and accounts i am giving the training not only for the engineers the procurements and stores admins and machinery operators uh, foremans levels all the grades we are given the 245 Uh, members we have identified and we have uh, given the training program like in the covid uh, we have given through online session only after that they realized uh, just uh, okay what is lps and they know the what is lps and uh, this much only they know they not practiced it. then slowly they started the uh, 10 sites as a mock up site and we identified the project manager and we started practicing then slowly the machinery operators and everybody is daily coming Uh, they have a big room meeting also so they came and they collaborated actually they give their problems they give some everything so the understanding for 6 months was the very uh, the continuity aligning the people in between in uh, all the grades aligning the people is getting uh, quite uh, difficult after aligning uh, only the report generations then next challenge is the report generations the report generation and the unique report generations and we have made the unique report generation all the sites so everybody is talking about the same reports and everybody is talking about the same uh, language then after one year only we came to the percentage of ppc like 30% 20% sometime it's coming 110 20% also there is uh, some uh, mismatch between the uh, teams then we aligned the teams uh, then uh, we find out where is the problems the people are getting 120 
and why the 2025 then uh, we corrected and every month we have the review meeting every week we have the report generations ppc output then this is what uh, we have implemented after one year all the project managers are talking about the lean language and uh, it's now it's getting a, now the civil part 65 percentage i am getting the ppc overall in the 18 sites this is my overall seven years experience yes it's required all the as you said uh, all the company has to follow uh, i think this is the way seven years i have uh, faced this uh, implementation at site levels okay thank you dr koshiba is yeah. uh, you know people are talking about so many benefits and you know which they have got over the period of years but i think this kind of feedback is uh, not uh, is somewhat mixed from you know site to site what have been your experience about the actual benefits which people are able to get with CPS. So, I, I mean, I would take the question in a slightly different way. I think what uh, Mr. Mohan Babu says is kind of where the uh, the CPS or the LPS process has reached a certain level of maturity and you can start getting the benefits of it. Now, a lot of times what we find in initiation phase is that there is a little bit of a paradigm difference between what we call our traditional project management systems like the critical path method based system or the earned value mm. and what last planner requires you to do. So there is a bit of a conflict which you see between because these traditional project management systems are required by your contract and by other requirements and now last planner system comes as an add on. So now there is a conflict which the planning and the execution team have in following the last planner system which is a little more uh, democratic, collaborative, distributed or the project planning system which is more centralized and controlled. Mm -hmm. Now this conflict is something which any team has to first overcome. Mm -hmm. Now this is a, this in a way is a cultural challenge, is an organizational challenge 